Hello, I'm Mark Hales, and I'll be taking you on a tour of Nick Mason's car collection, which includes these three, which will all be racing at the Goodwood Revival. Well, this is uh, some toy cupboard, and I'm very fortunate in that I've actually driven all of these and raced quite a few of them. So uh, we'll start with this one. This is a Bugatti T35. That's, uh, I think, 1927. Uh, that orange spot there means it burns alcohol at some prodigious rate. It's astonishingly fast in a straight line, although uh, the brakes are actually pretty frightening. But it is nevertheless an absolute sculptured item of beauty. That's as much art as it is engineering. This is a Maserati 250F. This was a Grand Prix car uh, all through the mid to late 50s. I think this one's 1957. This would have been driven by Fangio uh, and all the works Maserati drivers. This is a Ferrari Grand Prix car, more in the modern era. It's a 312 T3 and this is the car with which Gilles Villeneuve, the great French-Canadian hero, won his home Grand Prix in Canada in 1978. This is a 1930s Aston Martin uh, Le Mans team car. There's three of them, and this is a Ferrari F40. There's a few more of these about, but this is brutally fast. And unlike the cars that came after it, like the Enzo, which is over there, this had no aids whatsoever in that respect. It was like the GTO. So there's no power steering, uh, there's no power brakes, nothing. And you just got this explosive engine. Now, this is a Porsche 962, a Le Mans car, low tail, low drag for speed at Le Mans. It's built exclusively for Le Mans. It looks, you know, intimidating, but it's a lovely thing to drive. That yellow thing with wings is a Piper Super Cub and that is the last one off the Piper production line at about 1980, in the mid-80s. This is a McLaren F1. It's done thousands of miles on circuits with all the professional drivers from the McLaren GT team, but it's never actually raced. And Nick did a deal with Ron Dennis, some strange machination. I think he swapped it for a, an Indy car that Ron didn't have. Uh, this is um, another birdcage. Uh, this is a two-litre one. Nick mistakenly bought two and he only really needed one, but he's never sold it. This is another Aston Martin uh, Team Le Mans car. This is LM18. But this is a Model T, and it's only ever had three owners in its life. The first owner were Senate Studios, and this is one of the Laurel and Hardy cars. They had several you know, for different locations, and it's got all the things on it, like the levers that you can stand and pull, and it squirts water in your face or a door falls off. It starts and goes, uh, it goes to Goodwood and gets driven round. And uh, the second owner was Coco the Clown, and the third owner was Nick Mason.